Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, thank you for stopping by again here. So, let's go ahead and go to the uh, Google Plus. Uh, this is the uh, social network of Google. Uh, it's not gonna replace uh, these these bigger social networks here, but uh, if you're if you're a Google fanboy here, uh, fan girl, uh, you know Google Google Plus would be the place to be at. So. So you can see here on the right side, left side here, control employees access to public content. All right, photos and videos bring life, conversations to life. Share, connect, and interact on the go. I do have a Google Plus account here. Uh, I, to be honest with you, I have hardly used the Google Plus account. Uh, but, you know, it, it does come with the uh, five hours per month, so it is something that we could take a look at. And... With that note, I am actually here already. If you're not there, you can go to plus uh, plus.google.com and it'll take you to this front page here. You can sign in, or if you haven't joined, join the Google Plus. It'll take you there. I haven't joined yet, especially with this new account. I have not. Uh, let's go ahead and start that now. So join Google Plus. I'm already logged in, in Firefox browser. It automatically puts in my information here. And then, of course, I'd rather not say. And then, uh, man, what do I for my birthday here? What's today? October? October 23rd? Today is my birthday. Every day is my birthday. Put uh, a 1980. All right. And no, this is not accurate. But anyway, I like having my, some of my information to myself. So let's go ahead and skip. None of the high, it's just, uh, it's just preference there. So, uh, but if you are signing up, do put your actual birthday, please. So, customize your, I'm going to skip that. I don't have to customize my avatar. I don't have an image of me yet. All right, so now we are uh, in the Plus, the Google Plus here. A very easy sign-on here. I'm not sure why there's an additional on top of the actually having the account. Uh, but there is, so we just went ahead and did that. As you can see now, we have the communities, profile, people, notifications. If you want to hide this, top left corner, there's a menu, a hamburger menu. Select it. It hides it. Select it again, it reappears. So, on the home page, this is the home page. You can see feature collections, uh, topics to explore, communities you might like. All right, you can discover. It's pretty much your browsing. You can browse through topics here. All right, you can go through uh, different categories. I actually like the uh, other VR and games, virtual reality. It has all the virtual reality in articles, augmented reality. That's the reality that's going to take over. Virtual reality is fine, but what would you prefer? Walk around like this or walk around like this? I can see you still. Okay, that's the difference between virtual reality and augmented reality. So you choose. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, communities. So this is communities within uh, your Google Plus. If you're familiar with uh, Facebook, they have groups or even LinkedIn. I'm not sure if LinkedIn has groups. I know Facebook, they have groups. Uh, this is pretty much your group, is your community. All right, you can create the community now. Name this community, my community. Restrict to your business, so this can be like your internal social network. As you see here in the in the messages, uh, you know it's essentially taking the place of our internal social network. That's what this could be here for you, could be specifically for your business. So anybody that has a, a seat uh, with this account uh, will only be allowed to be uh, in this community. If you want anybody to have access to it, or anybody can add or uh, go into the uh, community, then select that off. And then it should be a matter of would you like to be public or private. So private, you need to invite members. Public, anyone can join. So, of course, the, uh, the restricted to my company uh, would be visible to anyone on there or private to only people that you invite within your organization. Okay. And then visible on search, allow people to search for your community and ask to join. Okay. So that's very self-explanatory. More options. Hold post for a review. So review post submitted to the community before they reach the stream. It's actually, uh, I, I'd prefer that. Um, some people just don't know how to, you know, because they don't have manners. So I, I, I like to do that. Hold post for review. And then con content controls. 
uh, stronger content filters and controls. It's automatically selected or by default. And here's my community. All right, and what do you want to share in the community? This is my first post in court post, post, post in community. You can add image, link, poll, and location. I like that poll here. It's pretty cool. Choice A, choice B, copy that, and then can uh, my choice, whatever, and then of course add the uh, photos associated with it. Choice C, choice B, done. And we have your choices here. Post. Wow, and you can select your choices. That is pretty cool. All right, so you can do moderate. The these posts are from limited members. As a moderator, you can decide if they're okay to the, for the community to view. Pretty cool. And there's no uh, post to review yet. And member request. So if you're a moderator, have this access. Member request likely spam. Flag these posts due to questionable content. As a moderator, you can decide if it's okay. And then held for review. All right. And that's the community section. Let's go to the profile. What actually people would see once they visit your specific uh, Google Plus profile. And it's pretty basic here. That's, it's going to show your post. Uh, so I've only had one post so far. You create a collection. Uh, my collection. So you can organize, or you can collect all your posts in this one collection here. I'll do my collection, my tag, collect. And of course, visible who? Organization, public circles, or only you? I'll do it for the organization. All right. Of course, you can set the uh, theme here. I'll do purple. People that have you in circles automatically follow this collection. I'll save it like that because nobody's following me right now. <laughs> Nobody follows me. <laughs> Nobody's following me. Anyway, so this is my collection. Your collection is now visible. Time to share your first post. My collection post. My first. My first collection post. Post it. Oh yeah, first collection post. All right, so you can pin the collection. So pinning it is gonna uh, keep it at the top of the page there. So once you have more than one, uh, it'll stay at the top. Okay, you can delete it. You can edit the post, disable comments, disable reshares, and mute it. Why would you disable reshares? I'm not sure. Disabling comments, uh, I can see where at times you want to do that, but disabling reshares, uh, if you don't want people to share, I guess you do that. All right, and this takes me to the specific collection page. If you saw how I did that, I clicked this arrow here. It took me specifically to the collection, and of course, I only have one post in the collection itself. And you can add a comment. My collect comment. You can only plus mention people, so I can plus mention myself. So I know, is it Twitter, they do the at or the hashtag symbol, and then LinkedIn as the at, or Google Plus would be the plus. Yep. All right. And of course, people. You can't have a social network without people. Find people, following, and then followers. No suggestions for me. <laughs> all right. Notifications. I'm all caught up. Of course, I haven't been using this. It just started. And the infamous settings page. So, who can send you notifications? Extended circles. Anyone. Your circle is only you. Or you can custom it. Of course, you can checkbox who you can allow to uh, share with you. 
or send you notifications. And who can comment on your public post? If, they, if these are public, uh, right now I have it set to anyone. Your circles, extended circles, only you, and of course custom. And I'll go ahead and take, I'll just leave it as default. And who can see your plus ones on post activity? Right now it's only me. Keep track of your plus ones, post, comments, and more in your activity log. Right, and here's my activity log. So actually, it actually is taking, uh, keeping track of that. So show locations by default. I don't like doing that. Excuse me. Allow users to download my photos and videos shared on Google Plus. That's kind of a little iffy for me there. Don't feature my pu publicly shared Google Plus photos as background images on Google products and services. If you want them to do that, I guess you can select yes. I don't. So show your Google Plus communities post on your profile. That's fine. Uh, so the community I just created here, it will actually be on my profile. Help people outside my organization find my profile and search results. All right, have that deselected there. Who can see the public in your circles section in your profile? Right here, it says public. Your circles are only you. I'll leave it public so uh, people can see who's in my circles. And show people who have added you to your circles. Okay. And then restrict stream to single column layout on all screen sizes. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because I don't I don't like that. Uh, well, pretty much what that means is if there's a if there's more than a few columns here, let's say three or four columns, uh, it's gonna to let's say this is the first column, second column. What it's gonna do if you select this, this second column will be taken down to the bottom of it. So it'll just be a scroll. It'll be a scroll. It'll be first column, second column. If not, the columns will just be stacked up. If they're either if they're uh, if they're grouped together by three columns, four columns uh, in a row. Uh, then that's how it would be set. If you just want it all in one single column, like I said, the, the one next to it will go below that, the one next to that below that one, etc. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it as it is now uh, with the uh, multiple columns just because I think it's it, it looks better for me. Um, so I'll autoplay animated images in the stream on desktop only. Amount of suggested posts to show and stream, standard, and notifications, of course, occasional updates about Google+. Plus. Course, you can select what type of notifications you would like to receive. You get the drop down on each of these sections, and of course, follows the collection you created, shares the collection you created, votes on a poll. See, all these are checked off except for the ones that we should really be notified. Uh, anyway, location sharing uh, share your real time location with people you choose. I don't like doing that. Uh, I mean, if you want to know where I live, I live in Texas City, TC, all right? Uh, so if you want to come by, whenever you come by, if you want to fish at the dike, I am here. So let us know. Anyway, uh, you don't need a location sharing to, for me to tell you that. So privacy, uh, your search histories helps to find out what you're looking for faster with, through autocomplete. Uh, advanced settings, enable circle stream and navigation. Other is target audience. And of course, you get to delete your Google Plus profile. Once I'm done with all this, I probably will, because of course this is a demo. All right. And of course the help section, infamous help sections. So connections, getting started, community settings, sharing, and loads of information. And of course, if you don't want to bother with that, going with articles, that's just something I haven't covered in this overall uh, video here, or if you just want something uh, really digestible, like a four to five or a two to five minute video, let me know. Uh, and I will be more than willing to uh, to do that here for you, but that's gonna be it for for the Google search. And actually, let's go one more thing here. Let's go ahead and discover something. Let's let's click any uh, article here. Uh, I say any article, but I, I'm trying to look for that article. Huh? Why doesn't Google sell its hardware and services in more markets? How about that? Cool. And what does that do? It takes you to the actual article. All right. Of course, takes me to the article. It is made by the public. And you saw how I did that there. So that's what I was actually going for. So if you actually click on the um, the username here, not the not the picture or the link, the actual username, Android Authority, select that, and this comes up. Even in 2017, Google still only sells its hardware products like the Pixel 2 and others in a handful of markets, and there's no clear clear reason why. A uh, clear reason why is because uh, they're, I mean, they are a hardware company now, but 
uh, their main focus is actually search. I mean, they're, the majority of their profits come from search, from ads. So, if anything, they are more of an advertising company as opposed to a hardware company. That's my personal opinion. Uh, if you agree, let me know in the comments below. What do you think Google is? Is it more of an ad company, advertising company, or is it a hardware company, an innovative company? Uh, it's, let me know, but I want to say it's more than 90% of their, their actual profits, revenues here, does still come from search ads. So, uh, yeah, there's your comments here if you want to add a comment. Hey, good stuff. Reason why Google, I'm just going to add a comment here, Google. Limits hardware is because they are first and foremost oh my goodness I can't spell a I'm gonna put search slash advertising company, but I think uh, I think more like more more so advertising company. And that's gonna be it for me. All ready, and I do appreciate you here. Oh my goodness, my battery. Okay, um, as you can see, we're in a little pickle here. Not to worry, I have a charger here. And it does not allow me <laughs> to... <laughs> Okay, I'm figuring this out. So uh, I do appreciate you for uh, stopping by here. And if you like this video, you know, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, we are here. Uh, we're gonna be here for the long run. There's plenty of software out there to test uh, nowadays. So uh, this is we're still in the G Suite right now. Next, we're gonna go to uh, the next application. I want to say we did with a Gmail, the calendar, we did a Google Plus. I want to say we do the Hangouts next. And that is a, a video sharing their uh, conference calls, uh, pretty much. So uh, look out for that. I'm still trying to charge this battery. I, I let it I let it die on me. This is a horrible mistake on my part. But anyway, uh, thank you for stopping by. I uh, will speak to you soon. All right, thanks.